Rant and Rave, Issue 1. Are the Braves' troubles the fault of the manager, Freddie Gonzalez? Well, if you've ever listened to my radio show or, let's see, read a column in the paper, you're probably going to be not shocked that I answer it. <laughs> yes, part of the problem is Freddie Gonzalez. He is a horrible manager. Case in point, Tucker. Monday, they bring up Christian Bethany Corp from AAA. They said we're going to play him the rest of the year. They play him on Monday and Tuesday. Where was he? On the bench. I meant to text you about that to get your reaction because when I saw that he wasn't in the lineup, I was like, I thought he just said that he was going to play the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. But, you know, this Different. team, yeah, at the beginning of the year, the lineup's shaking up every week or every day. That was crazy. But they were still in the, in the hunt. I'm not going to blame Freddie here. He can't get out there and hit every night, Bill. Yeah, when Freddie Freeman went out the first time, they were still hanging on. The second time kind of messed them up bad. <laughs> yeah, you can say a little bit goes to Freddie, but he can't get out there and hit the ball. Yeah, he's awful. All right, uh, issue two, Falcons backup quarterback. Hmm. Rex Grossman, TJ Yates, or Sean Renfrey? I can't believe they signed Rex Grossman. He's older than I am, believe it or not. And yeah. uh, you know what? Uh, he knows the system. That's why they, they signed him, because Shanahan, of course, had him in Washington. He's 35 years old and hasn't thrown a pass in four years. I'll take Renfrey, but I think they're taking Grossman. I think they, they brought him in for a reason. I mean, why would why else would they sign 35-year-old guy to come in? They got a plan for him, I, I feel like. And I said on the news yesterday, this guy had some success against Georgia back in the day. And I know that in hurts the 90s. really bad. Yeah, well, it happened. <laughs> it happened. Well, uh, he was a Florida quarterback. They all had success against Georgia. <laughs> come on. True, very true. All right, issue three. Speaking of Georgia, speaking of quarterbacks, <laughs> Ramsey or Lambert? Do we care anymore, really? Mm -hmm. I don't know if we do or not. I tell you what, let's ask this question again before the South Carolina game on September the 19th. <laughs> I'll say Ramsey right now, Tuck, but uh, you know what? I really don't care because they're both going to play the first two games of the season. It's not yeah. like if Ramsey starts, Lambert's not going to play. So I'll say Ramsey, but uh, that's an awful situation up there. <laughs> If you look at them on paper, there's not much of a difference. Obviously, the only difference is Lambert has a lot more experience, but his experience wasn't that great. I think uh, Ramsey being there in the spring with Schottenheimer will help uh, give him a boost. Maybe get the starting job, as you said. It could be Lambert in week two. Who knows? It could be. All right, final question. Who will win the SEC East? You know mm -hmm. what? Uh, in Sonny's Telegraph, I'm going to give you a little preview. I say Georgia, so on television, I'll say <laughs> Tennessee. Then I'll be both the right times. Um, I, look, I don't know. I mean, no, no quarterback for Georgia, no quarterback for South Carolina. you got to give Missouri props. But yeah. who will win this week division? Georgia should win it, Tucker. But I am leery about it. I mean, I think if Tennessee wins that game in Knoxville on October the 10th, they're going to win the division. I'm going to make a bold prediction and say if, no, if Georgia doesn't win, Rick's gone. He's oh. got to be right. Wow. <laughs> he can't win this weak division every year, and it's about to get a lot tougher, so you better do it now. You better do it now. I say, I I'll say Georgia. I agree. Okay. And if he doesn't, they'll be in a column in the paper on the following <laughs> Sunday. You can count on it. We'll see you tomorrow night for high school football starting around 11.15 for the end zone.